from Philadelphia, Mississippi, to the University of Oklahoma. His first year was phenomenal, the first freshman ever to lead the powerful Oklahoma offense in rushing. Big 8 first team, football news second team All-American. Marcus Dupree was the catalyst that propelled Oklahoma back into national prominence. A second-place finish in the Big 8 and a date with Arizona State in the Fiesta Bowl. Against the Sun Devils, he amassed 239 yards against the best defensive team in the country. He was named the game's most valuable offensive player, even though he played little more than a half and set out the rest with a hamstring pull. After the Fiesta Bowl game, the first hint of trouble. Barry Switzer accused him of being overweight and slow. Marcus didn't say anything. Spring practice came and went, and Marcus missed it all. They told us the hamstring was still acting up, and they didn't want to take a chance on making it worse. Summertime, when the living is supposed to be easy, well, it wasn't. A Sports Illustrated reporter wrote a story that all was not well in Soonerland. The story told of Marcus's dislike for the program in general and the coach in particular. Most folks poo-pooed the story, not wanting to hear that things were not rosy red. But more trouble came on the annual picture day. Marcus didn't show up for the team picture or the media interviews, and nobody seemed to know where he was. But Marcus showed up the next day after having car trouble in Arkansas and assured everyone everything was fine. And it apparently was until the Ohio State loss. Marcus went down in that game with a knee injury, and he missed the rest of that game in the Tulsa contest. He came back against Kansas State and picked up a lot of yards, but he looked slow. After a long run, his knee apparently acting up again. And then came Texas, the anniversary of his rise to stardom last year. The Longhorns shut him down, and he hasn't been seen since. Today, Barry Switzer told the story. We haven't talked or seen, talked to or seen Marcus since the Texas ball game. Oh, we were to practice Monday. School's out Monday. We didn't practice Sunday as we normally do on Texas weekend. Uh, he wasn't here, wasn't here Tuesday. The media, the press didn't know it because I had closed practices. Uh, we gave him every opportunity to get back without any publicity. Uh, his mother called last night. She had put him on a plane, thought she had put him on a plane. A friend delivered him to Jackson Airport, and uh, he never got on the airplane. He got with some friends in Jackson. His mother did, wasn't aware of this. She called late, to the, early this morning, 3 o'clock this morning, wanting to know if we had seen Marcus. We haven't heard from him. She put out an all-points bulletin, as we understand, in the state of Mississippi this morning for him. Uh, a friend of Marcus's called his mother, Sella Connors, and told her not to worry that he was all right. Marcus didn't even call his mother. So that is basically all we know. And obviously, we've got to go play without him. Uh, we have to suspend him from the football team. Uh, that's what our team wants. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the young man obviously has some problems. Uh, and uh, and to work out anything, we have to have the opportunity to visit with him, which uh, I don't know if we'll have that communication anytime soon. Any idea of why? Yeah, I, I know. Marcus doesn't like football. He doesn't like to play football. He's burnt out on football. He's told too many friends, too many uh, people he's confided in, that he's close to, that uh, he, this was true as a freshman. He wanted to quit as a freshman. He didn't want to play this year. It's obvious that he doesn't like practice because he hasn't practiced since he's been here. He's had an injury. He hadn't gone through spring practice. He hadn't gone through off-season. didn't go through two a day. Uh, he has just told people that he doesn't like the game of football, and he's burnt out on it. It would seem to be a lack of respect for you and the team along with all this. Uh-huh. Uh, he's an individual. He's not a team player. If he came back today, what would your first reaction be to him? be what the football team won. Only if they can accept him, because if I bring him back and they don't accept him, we don't have a football team. So it would be the, the team's decision whether or not he would ever play it would again? Be, it would be our, it would be the team's decision.